previously on Hell's Kitchen. We're rolling now. Get them. Jimmy, come on. What are you doing, Craig? Why are you stalling, man? Ladies, well done. The women won the pasta challenge, and the men knew just who to blame. Every challenge, we always have an issue with Craig. You got this fucking cockiness about you. No, I'm not cocky. Yes, you are. Trust me, you are. Then, at dinner service. I'm not asking for a perfect service. I'm telling you. Matt crashed and burned. They're like ice hockey pugs. Fucking get out! Craig dared to talk back. Coming up right now! Fucking listen! Then do it! And Ben celebrated a little too soon. Six tables on trace to go. They've got two tables to go. So, dig deep and wake up. On the red side, a serious burn took Vanessa out of the kitchen. <laughs> Oil in a saute pan poured all over my hand. But Jen... <laughs> led the red team to victory. Well done. Yes. We won. I just wanted to start dancing. Get in there and help them. Move. What do you guys need? What y'all need? Jen, stand next to Chef Ben. For me, you know, it's just embarrassing that Chef called him in to come help. Bobby was the best of the worst. You made me feel safe in the kitchen. Yes, Chef. And at elimination. I nominate Craig and Matthew. There's one more person standing behind you. I need to hear from him, and he knows who he is. Ben, I'm really seriously disappointed with you. I know you are, Chef. But it was Craig, whose dream of working for Chef Ramsay in his new Los Angeles restaurant, went up in flames. Continuation of Hell's Kitchen. Oh, something happened up there? I mean, <laughs> oh. what the fuck? Elimination round is too dramatic for me, dog. I was gonna pass out. Well, what'd you fuck up tonight, though? I didn't fuck up anything. I did nothing but help. He never gave me an explanation while I was up there. I mean, I'm working hard, and at the end of the day, all I get is yelled at. I just don't understand it. You're right, Vanessa. Well, what's going on? What they say? I, I have to go see a plastic surgeon. Are you kidding me? I burned myself during service tonight. I hope this doesn't completely destroy my chances for continuing in Hell's Kitchen. What a day. I just think I'm digging too deep. I'm just letting it get to me, you know? Live to fight another day. This place is harder than boot camp, huh, Bobby? Yeah, man. Harder than boot camp. Anybody want a cookie? I just had some. As the chefs prepare for another day in the kitchen, all hands are on deck. All but one. I can't touch anything. I can't be over any heat. I can't get my hands wet. I can't do anything. It sucks. So you want like this top half braided? I think Vanessa's a little frustrated right now and, and it's understandable, you know? She doesn't want to let us down and we want to help her through this. I feel like a jackass. Morning, guys. Good morning, morning chef. chef. Vanessa, how are you feeling? Good, chef. How's your burn? I, I don't know yet. It's okay, yeah. though. Good. Lou Ross, what did you think about the first thing this morning? What was on your mind? Game time, chef. Game time. Good. Now, listen up. A great chef in a fine dining restaurant can take something ordinary and turn it into something extraordinary and charge an extraordinary price as well. Whether it's a grilled cheese sandwich, a burger, or a pizza. This is my white truffle pizza from my restaurant, Maze, in London. One white truffle onion pizza is the value of this. Who would have 
thought that a pizza can cost over $200. Holy shit, $200 for a pizza? I don't even have a $200 pair of shoes. That is today's challenge. Each team will present their very own version of a fine dining pizza. Ultimately, I want something stunning. Are you ready? Yes, yes chef. 45 minutes, starting from now. Let's go. For this challenge, Chef Ramsay has assembled over 130 ingredients for the chefs to choose from in making their pizzas. We got squid, duck confit. This is the challenge I've been waiting on, where I can really utilize this crazy mind of mine. It's like, <sighs> there's just so much. Yeah, look at that. There are Colby beef. Really nice produce. Baby zucchini. Heirloom tomatoes, clams, oysters. There were C, C, C uh, uh, merchants. Each chef will create one gourmet pizza. Then each team must choose one of those pizzas to present to Chef Ramsay. One each, OK, make it happen, gentlemen. We got to win this, guys, to celebrate happy. Guys, everybody though, we should come up with their own individual yeah, can idea. Yeah, like write everything down. Yep. And, oh. As long as I'm in the kitchen, then I'm gonna try to do something. What are you doing? I want to do something like oysters three ways. This was the first challenge that we were allowed to sort of do our own thing. So I am really excited. What are you doing? Uh, like a. Italian type pizza with sun dried tomatoes and some prosciutto. While the women share ideas and take notes, the men's style of communication. Is, is someone not using a pan that way? Could you use it real quick? Is a little different. Yes, no, no one talks to each other. It amazes me. It's like I'm fucking talking and everyone's deaf. It, it, it's sickening. I, I'm, I'm nauseated. Whose back left is this? No one gives a fuck. No one answers around here. That's why we lose. No one fucking communicates. Shut the fuck up. That's a dingling. Just shut up, Matt. Just zip it and do it. Whatever you need, call it out. More chopped basil? I will not cut off my fingers. Come on, baby, baby, come on, baby, baby, come on. Anybody got mascarpone cheese out? That's a good idea you got working. This is the bomb. How you looking, boss? Good, man. Now. You have 15 minutes to debate and present me the ultimate fine dining pizza. All of the women have finished their individual pizzas. Now, they must choose one to represent the team. Ow, ow, ow. OK, I uh, did an oyster three-way with salsa fee and chai. Mine is uh, jalapeno cilantro marinated grilled shrimp. What is yours, Vanessa? Heirloom tomato, tenderloin, caramelized onions, and mozzarella. I can't hold a knife, but I did make something beautiful, so I was hoping that they would choose my pizza. This one has a herb crust with prosciutto, and I got a drizzle balsamic glaze over it. Let me try that. That one's really good. I'm sorry, but that's good. I tasted Jen's. Bam, that's it. Chef Ramsay would like that, and he's all about simplicities. Yeah, that one is good. This one's the best, I think. Thank you, ladies. All right. I was kind of hoping they'd go with my pizza, but they didn't. I am disappointed. Let's use a little bit more ingredients. We need to make it stand out. Super gourmet. Super gourmet. Having made their choice, the women get to work perfecting Jen's pizza to present to Chef Ramsay. Guys, the girls are done already tasting this shit. There's only two pizzas here. I'm getting deeply concerned. Hey, make way for my pizza, guys. Mine is a regatta and uni stuffed zucchini flour with buffalo mozz and a green salsa verde. Oh, I took one bite, and I just had no fucking words for them. This is quite nasty. I like this. What's wrong? It's different. It's very different. That's fucking bullshit. I was shot down. The pizza was fucking phenomenal. Bob, cut yours. Mine's is a, a classic American surf and turf pizza with Colby beef, shrimp, topped with the gorgonzola blue cheese. It was very tasty pizza, classic. And you know, that's the type of pizza that you could have got $100 in a restaurant, and it would have been flying out, flying out, flying out. Here you go, guys. Taste this one right here. It's mine. Well, you just have something like that. It's just like something you get at, like, Pizza Shack. Oh, your pizza tastes like as if it was, like, from Pizza Shack? No, taste it. That's just me. I'm not fucking pissed. Looks good. Beautiful, man. What do we got? We have uh, duck confit, chanterelle mushrooms, white truffles, and duck lard on. OK, Ben. Let's go with Ben. All right, we got this. 
I didn't realize that the one that was chosen was Ben's Pizza. Is this Ben's? This mine. Where's Ben's? I guess Bobby and Ben basically decided while I was putting mine together. Ten seconds. Nice. Nine. Come on, guys, let's go. Eight. That's it. Seven. Six. Five. Ben, Ben. Four. Three. Two. One. And serve. Thank you. Back in line, please. Jen, what was your pizza? It's called a little bit of Italy and a little bit of France. We have the herb crust. We put some sliced prosciutto, some beautiful sun-dried tomatoes, and the fried basil as a garnish. Wow. OK, Ben. Basically, what I did, you know, I did a pizza of duck confit. I did some chanterelle mushrooms. I made a caramelized onion and shell cream sauce to go on the bottom. All the ingredients stand out on their own. OK. Very tight, very difficult. Who washed the mushrooms? I did, Chef. I've got some grit already in there. Ben can't even clean a mushroom properly. Some people's cooking skills are starting to show that they don't have any. You know when you crunch, crunch, crunch? Yes, sir. However, taste-wise, they both taste very good. Oh, good. Please, good. Congratulations. <laughs> to the girls. Well done. Oh, oh, yes! Fuck! <laughs> oh, yeah! Yes, I told y'all I was in this to win it. Do you hear the words that are coming out of my mouth? Holy <laughs> fuck! Listen, ladies, well done. Thank you, Chef. Yeah, really well done. Um, great execution, wonderful flavor, beautiful. And the good news is, it's going on the menu tomorrow night as a special. Oh, oh, <laughs> thank you, Chef. OK, ladies, we're going to the famous restaurant of the home of the $90 hamburger. Oh. It's not in Los Angeles. It's in Santa Barbara. So go and get change. Our helicopter awaits us. <laughs> I have always dreamed about riding in a helicopter, and now my dreams are finally coming true. <laughs> ben, the pizza was good, but the mouthful of dirt on the mushroom was a disappointment. I can't believe we lost another one. You can't win with dirt in your food. Sorry to let you down. You didn't let me down, you let your team down. Gentlemen, time for your punishment. You're going to be prepping the pizzas for tomorrow night's service. I'm fucking pissed right now, dude. Get in the kitchen, get cleaned up. We've got to move. Let's go. I think these pizzas are going to fly. Y'all wearing dresses today? Yeah, I shaved yesterday. While the women unite and prepare for their reward, the men are falling apart. Even if you don't enjoy each other's company, what needs to happen here, there needs to be a bond as a team. Do you feel the bond? No, Chef. No. Do you feel the bond? Not as strong as it could be, Chef. Lou Ross, do you feel the bond? This team is definitely not missing talent. It's missing teamwork. Hey, come here, you. What's the matter? Huh? I'm good. There's no need to walk around like a whiny-ass little punk bitch is what he's acting like with his little mohawk. Come together as a team. I think you'll be surprised at the difference. Yes, Chef. Thanks, Chef. I, I, I want to fucking win tomorrow. I want to taste blood. I want to taste their fucking blood. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, Chef, yeah, what I have here is a taste of France and a taste of Italy. <laughs> Does anybody want to talk some shit out? We got to get the communication going. I mean, Chef Ramsay is giving us pearls of wisdom like they're coming out of the Japanese giant oyster. If you don't listen to Chef Ramsay's advice, something mentally wrong with you. What are we going to do moving forward to get communication going between us? You know what? I don't know. 
Okay. Then we're gonna fucking lose again and let's enjoy it. Matt drives me nuts. He means well, he's a, he's a nice guy, but he fucking drives me nuts. Let's just make the dough, man. While the blue team's communication is stalled, the red team is ready for takeoff. Ladies, look how glamorous you are. Lovely. Up. Watch it, watch it. This is my first time in California, and I cannot wait to see this beautiful coastline from up above. The view from the helicopter was amazing. Those gigantic houses and the Pacific Ocean doesn't really exist where I come from. Square one. Exciting. Off we go, ladies. It was kind of a like comfortable and cozy restaurant. I'm excited that I get to spend more time with Chef Ramsay. So here's a toast to half of Italy and half of France. <laughs> 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 While the women enjoy some private time with Chef Ramsay, back at Hell's Kitchen, the men are finally communicating. I'm just letting you know right now, man, when you tasted my pizza and you told me, you told me that shit tasted like Pizza Shack, you know what I'm saying? That shit hurt, kid. Lou Ross, I'm gonna be honest with you. I mean, there's no room for bitches in this game right now. Are you calling me a bitch? You broke down, dude, and you broke down in front of Chef. You don't know what breakdown is when you see it, bro. Trust me. I was just, I'm sick and tired of this shit. Everybody's sick and tired of it. I've been under the gun for days. I should be fucking crawling underneath that table right now crying. Well, I get grilled so many times, but you don't see me break down. Oh, you break down, trust me. That's how it's, that's how it's gonna be. We're at lunch for you. Thank you, Chef. Don't do it. I don't even know if I want to look in there. It's, uh, it's hamburger. It was just a thin-ass burger. There's no mustard, no ketchup. Just a thin-ass burger on a bun. This is a land slider. Japanese Kobe beef with braised Kobe short ribs and black truffle frites. Wonderful. How about that? Wow. Oh, my god. The burger was really, really, really good. Black truffle fries. Should we save one for Ben? Just in case he thinks it's dirt. <laughs> <laughs> to get to sit and relax and have lunch with Chef and pick his brain was probably the best part of the reward. It's a new day in Hell's Kitchen, and there's a lot to be done to prepare for dinner service. But for one of the chefs, the work is proving to be a challenge. Oh, watch out for me. It's really difficult to not be able to bang out prep with everybody else, you know, to feel so fucking useless. And I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do to get through service tonight. I would like to talk to chef about it. You know, maybe that would help out. Hi, Vanessa. Hi, Chef. Sit down, my darling. How's the burn? It's a little painful. Yeah. Tough when you've got that kind of obstacle in front of you. I like being in the kitchen and not being able to cook the way that I'm used to cooking. And it's killing me. But you still have every chance of winning this competition with or without a burn. So the choice is yours to leave house kitchen or to stay. I'm not a quitter. I have fought through a lot of things in my lifetime, and I'm not weak. The decision is entirely yours. If I can't be here 100%, Chef, I don't want to be here. What a shame. I respect your decision. If you'd be so kind to go and say goodbye to your team, pack your stuff, leave House Kitchen. Yes, Chef. Thanks. Good luck. Thank you, Chef. It's unfortunate that Vanessa's burn took her out of the competition. We'll never, ever know 
if she really had what it takes to win House Kitchen. I'm going to go. Oh, Vanessa. I made my choice. My team is better off without me than with me. Good luck, guys. I don't know if Vanessa made the right choice. She kind of gave up on herself. I thought she was a little tougher. Vanessa, good luck. Are you quitting? I'm leaving, yes. Bye, Vanessa. Bye, Vanessa. Bye, guys. Good luck. I don't consider myself a failure. Hell's Kitchen is an immersion in fire, and it's too much for me. Let's go, red team over here. Let's go, girls. Vanessa's departure was unexpected, but it's not the only surprise in store for the chefs. Follow me. Let's go. Tonight's special is the winning pizza from the girls' team. For the first time ever in Hell's Kitchen, we're offering pizza delivery. Oh, no. And look, look at that. Hell's Kitchen pizza delivery tonight. It's a banner flying all across Los Angeles advertising my pizza. That's huge, you know? That's huge. Gentlemen, because you lost the pizza challenge, you will be delivering the pizza door to door in this glorified model. There you go, the glamorous pizza delivery van. Fantastic. Thank you, Chef. How exciting is that? Awesome, Chef. OK, back in the kitchen. We've got a busy night. Let's get it cracking. I got some blanche of water here. What do you need? We are one man down. But too many cooks can crowd the pot, so I think with Vanessa out of the way, it's just going to make all of us stronger. While the loss of their teammate has brought the women together. We're getting there. We're getting there. All right, who needs help? Over in the blue kitchen, the men are still miles apart. The blue team now is jacked up. God friggin' help us tonight, because we need a fucking miracle. Jean-Philippe, open Hell's Kitchen. Let's go. Please, come on, let's go. As soon as he says that first order, everybody listen and say yes, chef, at the same time. On order, listen up, yes? Yes, yes, yes. Let's go. On order, four covers, table 41. One crab, two risotto, one scallops. Entree, one salmon, one beef, one wellington, one pizza. Yes, yes chef. chef. Good. Tonight, I'm on hot appetizer station. I'm just going to blow Chef Ramsay out of the water. He is just going to be so impressed. 45 seconds, ladies. 45 seconds. Risotto, scallops, yes? I'm ready. Coming up now. OK, we're up in the window. Uh, good start, ladies. Great energy. Keep it going. Jen has sent out her first appetizers in record time. Service, please. Meanwhile, the first calls for pizza delivery are coming in. Pizza. Thank you. Thank you. Clearly, somebody saw the plane. Ben. Yes, Chef. You'll be doing the home delivery. Yes, Chef. Matt is ready with the blue team's first appetizers. Matt, can I have some decent eggs? They're like Pamela Anderson's fucking implants. You still serve them to me. I won't do it again, Chef. Come over here, so look. The minute you touch that, yeah, touch it. Yeah, now eat it and eat, 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 eat. Yeah, there you go. Chef Ramsay made me one of the eggs, which is fine with me anyway. I like quail eggs. You need to start making these eggs. I'm working them. Just broke. Oh, God, guys. Give me the eggs. I'll make the eggs. It was just a mess. Don't forget to take leadership of that kitchen, whether they like it or not. No, give me the eggs. If Bobby say give him the eggs, just give him the eggs, guys. I had to pick up a lot of slack tonight. I'm a four-star general. You know, this is what I do. With Bobby scrambling to get the eggs under control. So let's go up. The blue team manages to send out two tables of appetizers. Thank you. Let's go. Meanwhile, the red team has served appetizers to four tables. That's amazing. And they're ready to bring their first entrees to the pass. Let's go. Beef Wellington. Oh, fucking hell, ladies. Ladies, 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 ladies. This feels really soft, yeah? Touch that, yeah? That feels like it's fucking rip-roaring rare. It's freaking raw in the middle. 
So stop the fucking table. Okay, guys, I am confused right now. We can't go, Cory, until I've got the beef and the Wellington. Why is this so fucking painful? Guys, I have a question real quick. Do I redo this? Yes. Hold on. Why are you asking her? So then you all look at me when you should be looking at each other. She's asking me, and all I want is you two to combine. Yes, Get yes. together. Yes, yes. To the window, two Wellingtons, Sam and John Dory. Thank you. Yes, yes. While the red team tries to regroup, Ben tries out a new look. I was in charge of pizzas, and, you know, when I had to go take those deliveries, I had to go. You know, I'm going to drive that little frickin' go-kart as fast as it shall go. The cart was a piece of shit, so it wouldn't change gears very well. I didn't know where the hell I was. I've never been to L.A. before. This thing had reverse. Pizza. All righty. Okay, thank you. All right. Thank you. Have a wonderful evening. While Ben has finally succeeded as a delivery boy, the red team tries again to deliver their first entrees. Nicely cooked. Thank you, Chef. Come on, let's go. Where's the mashed potatoes? Mashed carrots, where are they? I'm coming right behind you, Chef. Oh, come on. You fucking piss cream. What is that shit? Oh, I'm sorry. Fuck off, will you, yeah? Is that how you're going to fucking respect these tables? Absolutely not, Chef. Absolutely not, Chef. I started getting really fucking frustrated because I couldn't catch up and I was just, like, falling behind. It was just only getting more and more hectic from there. I don't know when you're going to think about waking up, but, hey, soon would be appreciated, madam. Yes, Chef. Pathetic. This is all you do, is it? And you stop tapping yes, and start I concentrating. OK, my mistake, Chef. Oh, fucking right, it was your mistake. I need the mash and the carrots now. Yes, Chef. Mash carrots now! I can't go unless I've got the veg. What is going on, Roseanne? Oh, my God almighty. This is fucking meltdown. Out of the way, please. Oh, fucking hell. No salt. Go, go, go. Send the vegetables separate. She gets confused over a fucking vegetable. Fuck off, will you? Fuck off! They've gone. Get away. The lamb wellington's already gone. Fuck all. Roseanne? Yes, Chef. Not good enough. It's an hour and a half into dinner service, and nearly all the diners have received appetizers. But Roseanne's breakdown on the vegetable station has stalled the red kitchen. Oh, my God almighty. Jen, yes, can you get on the garnish, please, yeah? Now. Keep it on the fire, Roseanne. With Jen's help, the red kitchen seems to be back on track. However, in the blue kitchen, the entrees have hit a snag. Hey, guys. Lou Ross, come here. Chef. Come on, quickly, let's go. Touch that. Still kind of lukewarm, Chef. What did I request? Temperature. You mean it well, Chef. Get it back in the pan. I got this. I have to do it. I can cook a steak, you know what I'm saying? But, like, what the hell happened? The pan's burning, Lou Ross. It's better go up in flames. Charcoal, beef. Do you honestly not know how to cook a steak medium well? I know how to cook a steak, Chef. So why aren't you doing it, then, Lou Ross? Come on, baby. Come on, fuck. Lou Ross, come on. Come on, Lou Ross. Plating up now, Chef. We're plating up. What's up, man? How come I can't see the nice, beautiful inside of the beef? Yeah, I, like, cut it in half, then I just seared it just to cook it off No, a see, the correct answer is you fucked it up, you didn't cook it right, and you're trying to get it by me. Do you have another one that I can see a nice pink center in? Yeah, Chef. Do you have another one with a nice pink center in it? Well, I... no. That one won't work? No, that one's not gonna work. With no steaks ready to serve, Lou Ross's situation is looking grim. Fucking send me home, that's what it is. But Petroza has a plan. This is our chance. It's not gonna work, it's not gonna work. Well, well, this is our only shot that we got. We had to show the face of the beef, so I had to slice a sliver off it. I wanna get the fucking food out. It's not, it's, it's fucked up already. She shows up. I, I'm gone. He sliced that paper thin, and I looked at him and I'm like, are you serious? And he was all, yeah. But damn, do you see the color on that steak? It was straight medium well. How's that one? Looks like it fucking works to me. Okay, LaRosse, where's that beef? Here's the beef. Come on. The beef. Much better. That was the most ghettoest thing ever in possibly kitchen ever, but it still went out, you know? 
I'll do my best man for you. You know? You do what you gotta do in the kitchen, right? <laughs> With Lou Ross and Petroza getting their meat past Chef Scott, more than three quarters of the diners in Hell's Kitchen have received their entrees. And your kitchen in. In the red kitchen, Christina is beginning to prepare her desserts. There are four burn souffles. The fucking burn. That puts me 20 minutes behind. Christina. Yes, Chef. 43 and 44 desserts away. Yes, Chef. I'm behind 15 minutes. Yeah, hurry up, yeah. That's too long, yeah? Damn it, I need some help. Jen and I were supposed to be on dessert. Well, I'm all by myself. It was really frustrating. There was nobody there. You guys, I'm about to lose this dessert order if I don't get a set of hands, please. I've got one minute before this souffle dies. She completely was about to have a meltdown over there on dessert. That, that's no one's fault but herself. I'm not, personally, I'm no one's mother here. It was up to her to take initiative. All right, my souffles are going to fall and die. Please. Cory. Yes. How with the desserts? Let's go. Christina, hold on one second. I'm just trying to get Christina out of here and letting her, you know, spoil herself. I don't even want to help her. All right, Christina, what can, tell me what to do. Tell me what to do. Tell me what to do. Uh, you, can you make a souffle batter? All right, sugar, you got sugar? With Corey's reluctant help, desserts are finally leaving the red kitchen. Come on, go, 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 come on, go. Two brulee, let's go. Thank you, Christy. Yes, chef. Oh, look at that. Thank you. Yeah. OK, 41, please. Let's go to souffle. Meanwhile, after two and a half hours of dinner service, the men are finally working together. We need eight souffles. We got this, Bobby. We got this. Beautiful job, no souffle. Thank you. So let's go, please. Finally, it's happening to you. Yeah, thank you. Let's go. OK, OK, let's go. What's next? This is it, chef. Good. Let's go. Oh, this is good for me. Let's go. Last ticket, yes? Yes, that's it, Chef. OK, good. Come here. Guys, come here. Let's go. Right. Good. Well done. That's what it feels like to complete a service. For the first time, these aspiring chefs have finished a complete dinner service. OK, not brilliant, but tonight we achieved our first complete service. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. For me, tonight, there was one person who stood out. And it was a big surprise. And that person was Lou Ross. You were crap. Your service was deplorable. Not on it, uninterested. It was shocking. That's the biggest surprise for me. And what hurts more is because before tonight's service, you were good. Roseanne, the last three tables we sent the vegetables out separately. I didn't want to keep them waiting any longer. I've decided tonight there's no losing team. Each team. Both of you go back to the door and nominate one of you for elimination. Now piss off. I know I'm safe tonight. Did you guys make your decision? I didn't know who I'm doing. I already got mine. But even though Lou Ross fucked up. I'm saying, Matt. Trozy? Nah, I'm in. If you want to do that. Bobby wants Mac on, but I think the weakest cook in the kitchen right now is Lou Ross. You either go with personality or strength in the kitchen. So who do you say? Lou Ross? I don't know, man. If you think that I should go up on my, I'm not going to fight you now. on it. I don't want to go, believe me. For tonight's service, I would have to say you, Roseanne. I would pick you tonight because you didn't seem like you didn't know your station. Seriously, is it, mine is the same thing. Based on service tonight, it would have to be Roseanne. Roseanne, based upon service tonight. What do you think? Lou Ross is in the room. Why well, he's not down here? Who votes Lou Ross? I, I do. Because I'm gonna be time. honest with you. If it's not Lou Ross, it's you. And it shouldn't be me. Well, I'm, I mean, that's just how the cookie crumbles, you know? Because it ain't gonna be the three of us. 
It okay. ain't gonna be me. I definitely don't deserve to go home tonight, and anyone who thinks I do is an asshole. I fucked up. If anyone's gonna be a man about it and admit his mistakes, that's gonna be me. I messed up today on service. I disappointed myself, I disappointed my team, and I disappointed Chef Ramsay and Moe's. I'm not afraid to admit my mistakes, but now it's up to Chef to decide. I really wish that I could have got to you and her when we were up here, because I wanted to put Christina up. I would like to see Christina go home. She doesn't say anything that's valuable or valid. She just likes to talk to hear herself talk. And in a sense, that kind of drowns me out, me from saying my valid stuff and her just saying blah, blah, blah. She talked all them talk, and they worth a damn straight up. She was going fucking down in the dessert stage. Christina, she's awfully high and mighty, and she thinks she's, uh, you know, up here, but she's just like everybody else, struggling to get to the top. If you put Christina up, it's a good chance she'll leave. And that's one annoying person that I wouldn't mind losing straight up. And I wouldn't feel bad about it at all. I'm completely fine with that. We kind of want to switch it up at the last minute to get rid of Christina. So I think it's going to end up getting ugly. I don't want to send that bitch home because she's all talk. She's in... I don't give a fuck where she's at. I tell her her face. She talks and don't talk, but she don't walk the fucking walk. I'm not ready to go home. I didn't come out here to lose, and I definitely came out here to, to win this prize. First, I changed my mind. I'm picking you. I'm picking you because I had a bad night tonight, too, but you were falling apart in the kitchen, so that's the decision I make, and they say that they agree. You agree with that, Shayna? I, I, it's a yes or no question. Yes. OK, that's four. Four agree. I'm feeling really angry. My teammate just stabbed me in the back. Now, I don't think I could trust anybody on the red team, honestly. Nobody but myself. Okay, Ben, have you come to a decision? Yes, sir. Who and why, please? We nominate Lou Ross. He might be the weakest one on the team when it comes to culinary skill, chef. Christina, who is it and why? The team decided to nominate me, chef. Say that again. The team decided to nominate me, chef. As the weakest cook. Yes, yeah, chef. Jen, explain. OK, chef. Um, she talks the talk, Christina. You know, she really can uh, verbalize her words right. But when it comes to running a brigade, you have to be headstrong and be confident in your work. I'm finding this hard to believe. Are you threatened by Christina's intelligence? Right hand to the Lord. No, I'm not at all threatened by Christina's intelligence, Chef. I'm not threatened by anyone here, Chef. I feel that I decide my fate in Hell's Kitchen. Let me just tell you something. That's my fucking job, sweetheart. Here's a question. Roseanne, do you honestly think you're a better cook than Christina? Yes, I do, Chef. Madam, you completely screwed your team. OK, Lou Ross, Christina, step forward, please. OK, big boy. Chef. Why should you stay inside Hell's Kitchen? Today I made a mistake today, Chef. I was on meat station. I did undercook some meat. Do you honestly not know how to cook a steak? I know how to cook a steak, Chef. So why aren't you doing it then, Lou Ross? But I did not give up, Chef. I still kept on going no matter what. Are you the worst cook in the blue kitchen? No. Who is? Um, I would have to say Matt. Christina. Yes, Chef. Why should you stay in Hell's Kitchen? Chef, I believe that I am detail-oriented, methodical, intelligent, and hardworking. I didn't realize I was a detriment. Are you the weakest chef in the kitchen? I don't believe so. Who is? Roseanne. OK, time for a decision. The one person leaving Hell's Kitchen tonight has already left the building. That's Vanessa. That is my gift to both teams tonight for completing a full service. Now, listen to me. 
Do not take this for granted. From this moment on, all I want now is a better, complete dinner service every night. Is that clear? Yes, yes Chef. And remember, this is Hell's Kitchen. And it's going to get tougher. Now piss off and get some sleep. I get put down and criticized no matter what. I may be a small Filipino man, but yeah, don't underestimate me because I'm still here. I'll stand my ground no matter what. The longer we're in this game, the meaner and more catty these girls get. Now I've realized not everyone is all in for our team, and those people will be taken out. Next time on Hell's Kitchen, it's every chef for himself. Once they get rid of me and Lou Ross, they'll turn around and stare Petroza in the back. I don't want to see our team succeed when all they're going to do is throw me under the bus. The chefs prepare for a special occasion. It's the first ever Hell's Kitchen Sweet 16 party. But dinner service is anything but sweet. Fuck off. Everywhere, Chef Ramsay looks. What is going on? From the blue kitchen. The hell of it's dry. No, it's not. I made it fucking clear. Do you want to argue now? To the red kitchen. No, 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 no. The beef is raw in the middle. Leave it and fuck off. To the dining room. Is this cooked? Can I have this cooked a little more? Thank you. Is a disaster. Shit! Melissa's steak comes back now, and mother's food comes back. Wake up! Right now, you're a Sweet 16's girl's nightmare, yes? Useless fucking... And at elimination, Chef Ramsay has a surprise. A new chef joins one of the teams. Fuck. They don't even know what they just inherited right there. Woo! Now fuck off, will you? You don't want to miss the most unpredictable Hell's Kitchen yet. Next time.